What's going on guys? In this video, I'll be going over 10 tips for Apex Legends Online. And this is a relatively new game, and it seems like there's a lot of people out there who are really struggling with this game. But uh, it honestly is a pretty easy game once you kind of get used to it. But anyways, getting right into the video, uh, the first tip is that you can't uh, do any damage to your teammates. So for example, if your team's inside a building, like fighting guy or something, you can throw a grenade in there and it won't kill them. And you can also just kind of spray fire and it won't kill them either. And I think it's kind of important, especially when you're using uh, certain special abilities, like if you're using the um, Bangalore or the uh, Caustic, so the guy that releases like the Toxic Trap or the girl that like basically uh, lays down like that huge aerial strike you can't actually hurt your teammates with this so like you can totally if your teammates getting cornered or about to get thirsted or something like that definitely just set up some one of those or throw some grenades or something like that it won't hurt them the next tip is that high ground is huge in this game so unlike fortnite battle royale game that's very similar you can't just build up and you can't just immediately get high ground by doing that the only way to actually get high ground is simply by climbing up to somewhere or just you know walking up there uh, in one way or another and having the high ground is huge because it's almost impossible to hide unless you're hiding behind an already made structure and even so having a high ground whether it's on top of a building or a cliff or anything like that is going to be huge especially when you're in the final circle so if you're getting in those last circles or if you're, you know you're getting into a fight, definitely try to take the high ground. It is very, very big. And if you can't take the high ground or someone else already has the high ground, I definitely recommend trying to clear them out in one way or another. Uh, the next tip is going to be that there is no fall damage at all in this game. So regardless of what character you are and regardless of how high you jump from, you will never get fall damage. And I think this is really big when you're just simply trying to run and make it to the ring or also when you're trying to run away from a squad that you know you didn't realize was there or something of that nature. Always feel free to jump down, get out of the way, and run away, even though the tip before was take the high ground. In some cases, you might be better simply running away from enemies if you're just heavily outmatched. Um, the next tip, kind of going along with this one, is just simply be quick. So in this game, like I said before, you can't build. Really, the only time you can protect yourself is either by if you're a character that can throw up some sort of shield, or if you're also, um, you know, just a character that can uh, phase away or something like that. But I think being quick and getting away regardless is a really good idea. So one tip for that is to just simply holster your gun. Uh, you hold triangle on PlayStation and Y on Xbox. Then you can also jump walls actually quickly and climb up walls by holding X. And you can also just simply just run faster all the time if you like holstering your gun or if not, just simply always be running, being quick and sometimes getting away from gunfights and being able to heal yourself is a lot better than simply just standing there because it's really easy to get hit when you're in the open and when you don't have any shields on. It's also relatively easy to go down, but if you do have full shields, it's a lot harder for enemies to kill you. So I think being quick and in some cases running away or trying to get the high ground or sneak around can be a really great idea. The next tip is to learn what guns do what. So there's a ton of different guns in this game, actually a lot of different classes, and even within those classes, the guns have different fire rates. Some are burst guns, some are fully auto, some are um, five bursts, some are single shot. There's a bunch of different guns that do a bunch of different things. So anytime you pick up a gun, make sure you try to check out um, just by simply looking at it or clicking the start button on whatever you know controller you're using and also looking at it see what this gun does because it could be very annoying if you pick up a gun very quickly and then think it's fully auto but it's only three round bursts so you get just absolutely lit up and that's not good so make sure you know what guns do once and you know i've been playing the game a little bit and i already pretty much know what every gun is for the most part so definitely be sure of that and the next tip to kind of go along with this is find guns you are good with so like I said, there are a ton of different guns. Uh, I don't necessarily think one set of guns or one gun is like ridiculously OP. I think Apex actually did a pretty good job at balancing the weapons. But one thing I will say is that I am much better with certain guns than other guns, and you probably are as well. So I really, uh, my personal favorite is probably the Hemlock, which is a three round burst AR. And then I usually do some sort of SMG as my secondary weapon, whether it be the alternator or like um, just one of the other smaller SMGs. Geez, I don't really um, care which one that is, but that's a typically uh, what I run. But it really doesn't matter what you run as long as you just simply um, know what guns you have or what guns you like, I should say. And I would definitely figure that out quickly so that you aren't always just picking up really crappy guns. And by the way, the Mozambique might be the worst gun. <laughs> and uh, going on to the next tip is only loot items you need. 
So your backpack size in this game is very limited and ammo actually takes a spot that isn't in your weapons or that isn't in yeah, your current weapon that you're using. So if you're picking up random ammo that you don't need or if you're picking up random attachments that don't fit your guns, um, this likely isn't a good idea unless you're like waiting to find a different gun or something like that. It's just the very beginning of the game. But once you're turned towards that like middle of the game area and you know even sometimes in the beginning, it's probably a good idea to start dropping things you're not using right now or just asking if your teammates need them um, because there's no need in holding you know three uh, full stacks of shotgun rounds when you don't have a shotgun and also to go along with this um, if you just have an insane amount of ammo you're very likely not to use it and same with if you just have like 43 syringes there's probably a good shot you're not going to use all those unless you plan on being a healer or something so um, i wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, just having a full inventory of any ammo type or any sort of uh, med, med uh, type either um, another tip is that attachments don't take inventory if they fit your gun so this kind of goes along with the tip above. So for example, if you have a scope, a sniper scope, and you have a sniper that you're currently using, the attachment will automatically go on that weapon and you could uh, switch out the scopes and all the attachments as such. But um, in general, if the attachment is not going to fit your weapon, it's going to take up an inventory space. So once again, similar to the tip above, if you don't plan on using it anytime soon, I'd probably recommend getting rid of it and seeing if your teammates need it. Moving on to the next tip, which is actually the second last tip, is use your pings. So this is actually one of the first games that has a ridiculously good way of like showing where enemies are and things around the map are without actually having players talk voice to voice. But one thing that is cool is when you use your ping, your character in game actually says some sort of commands. For example, if you put your ping on an enemy, your character will actually say enemies up ahead. Or if you put your ping on a supply bin, the character will actually say supply bin up ahead and things of that nature. So this is super important rather than trying to be like, oh, there's an enemy, you know, at 265 West or something like that. Um, it's way, way easier just simply ping them. And all you have to do is depending on what um, controller or, um, you know, console you're playing on, it's like usually um, one of the bumpers. So for PlayStation, it's L1 and for Xbox, I think it's LB. But moving on to the next and the last tip is use your heroes or your legend abilities to your advantage. So each separate uh, legend has different abilities they can use. They have a short term one that uh, goes a lot quicker, that reloads a lot quicker. And then they have a uh, bigger and more special ability that usually you know, deals more damage or is a lot better. So definitely figure out what those abilities are, which ones you like using the best, and then always use them because sometimes you'll be playing an entire game, um, not notice that you've had your ability all game, you've been in like three fights already. So definitely be conscious of that and pay attention to that because they are all extremely good in their own ways. I really haven't found one that's necessarily bad yet. They all have their own uses. But anyways, guys, that's really it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, I talk about um, a whole bunch of things. I've been mainly talking about Apex Legends as well as Red Dead Redemption 2 online gameplay. So uh, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, definitely head on my channel. If you like what you're seeing, consider subscribing. And also in the comment section, let me know what you think about these tips. Do you think they helped? Did they not? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you have some more tips that I didn't mention in the video as well. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching.